Hey, time for our cup of joe. I had a rather panicky call from a person who was worried about beans. Why? Because he was making soup from canned beans and was looking at the list of ingredients. And one of the ingredients listed here was calcium chloride. And he was worried that he hadn't rinsed the beans enough to get rid of the calcium chloride. Isn't calcium chloride the stuff they put on the streets to melt ice, he wondered. What is that doing in my beans? Well, indeed, calcium chloride is used to lower the freezing point of water, so it is used to melt snow and ice on the streets in, in winter. But that doesn't mean it cannot be used in food. Calcium chloride is added to many, many fruits and vegetables in, in, in cans in order to keep their texture. The texture of, of uh, fruits and vegetables is, is due to a molecule called pectin, which is a long-chain polysaccharide, and calcium ions link these long chains together, and that leads to a firmer uh, texture. But producers can't just add chemicals at random to food. They have to be approved by regulatory agencies, and calcium chloride is. There's no problem with it. The small amounts of calcium that it adds to food certainly is not a problem. In fact, many people have too little calcium in their diet. Oh, it's added to all kinds of things. It is added to pickles to make them firm, and also it reduces the amount of salt that is needed because calcium chloride itself tastes rather salty. It's used to make little spheres that look like caviar by coagulating vegetable or, or uh, fruit juices with calcium alginate, and to do that, calcium chloride is added. It's used to make tofu to coagulate the proteins in, in soy, and it's used in cheese making to coagulate the curds. Uh, so it is widely used. It is added to beer because it, it gives it a special uh, flavor. And you look at some sports beverages, you'll see they contain calcium chloride because it is an excellent electrolyte. Where do we get it? There are several ways. You can just evaporate natural brine from salty lakes or from the ocean, and you can separate calcium chloride from that. But commercially, it is mostly made as a byproduct of what we call the Solvay process, which is used to make washing soda. Uh, you take uh, limestone calcium carbonate reacted with salt, and you get sodium carbonate, and the byproduct is calcium chloride. It's produced in large quantities, but the main use is to melt snow and ice on, on the streets. Calcium chloride is also extremely hygroscopic, means that it picks up moisture. And we use it in the lab in drying tubes to make sure that moisture doesn't get into our, our equipment. And you'll also find it as an additive to salt in order to keep it uh, free flowing. And uh, of course, calcium chloride has gone through all the regulatory hoops and hurdles, so it is safely put into, into beans. So don't worry about the beans. In fact, they're good for you. And you know the old saying, beans, beans, good for the heart. The more you eat, the more you, well, you know what comes next. Anyway, no need to worry about calcium chloride in your beans. Thanks for listening. See you next time.